Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's me, Camille Girl, and today as you guys can see, we're going to be cleaning, or I'm going to be cleaning a hundred or more, well over a hundred brushes, makeup brushes. So guys, the first thing that I like to do is get something like, that is glass. It doesn't need to be huge or anything like that, but let me try to get you guys in on that. Okay, so anyway, what I'm going to do is take some summer uh, and it doesn't matter the brand but in this case i'm taking some hand sanitizer by safeguard and it's a decent sized bottle so anyway i'm going to just take some and i'm going to pour it right into this uh clear is actually like a small small vase i'm gonna pour it right into there okay because I got to get this stuff, you know, sanitized. Even if I was just using it on my own face, I do not want, you know, to be taking no chances, honey. So anyway, this is, you know, what I've been doing. Um, as far as my brushes are concerned, go ahead and get you. And so you only want to go up just a little bit, about an inch up. Because once you add your brushes, it's going to go up higher. So the next step that I will do, I'm trying to keep these brushes separate. So I'm going to start out with the face brushes and I'm going to place them right in there in each one of the jars. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take all foundation style brushes and just place them quickly in there. They don't need to stay in there for no certain amount of time, but as long as they get put in there to help out with uh, getting the germs off of them and stuff. So anyway. And see, this is my fault letting this get built up like this. This is crazy. I mean, I just like... Mm -mm. I hate that. You know, have you ever let your brushes get built up so bad that you just bought some new ones instead of cleaning them? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. So anyway, we're going to let those go for just a moment. And there, this is not cleaning off anything. It's just killing the germs. Okay, that's all it's doing. Yep, that's all it's doing. It's like a prep for the clean. Now I'm going to take some, um, just some Johnson & Johnson uh, baby shampoo. I like it because, you know, it's going to add, have conditioning properties in it. So anyway, I just go ahead and try to pop that open some kind of way if it's going to work or not. Okay. So then anyway, let's see. Go ahead and pour at least two tablespoons right on in there. Okay. And then after I do that, I'm going to add just a dot, like one, two, three. So a half of a teaspoon of olive oil. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and add some water slowly. And it smells wonderful. Now you can expect that it's gonna leave your brushes smelling really, really good. If you wanna use more soap, that's fine, but you know, be, don't use so much olive oil because you just, you don't wanna do that, okay? Now at this time, what also I'm thinking that I may want to do is go ahead and um, grab some paper towels so I can wipe them and show you guys how clean they are. So now what I'll do is take the brushes one by one that have already been uh, disinfected and I will go ahead and place them on into that nice hot water and begin to just kind of scrub through on that, um, on that cleaning, what is this called? A cleaning thing, gamma jigama. Anyway, what I'm going to do is just take them just one by one, getting in there and getting it nice and clean. Now, you would expect that this is going to take you a while. Um, 
But the good thing is that getting them t uh, together is just kind of like half the battle. And I added a little bit more olive oil because oil loosens up the, the uh, dirt in them. I'm probably actually going to add a little bit more. And as you guys can see, I hope you guys can see how that dirt is breaking that, getting broken down. And there you see it kind of floating to the top as though like when you take a bubble bath or something and that, that dirt floats to the top and then you know, okay, I'm getting clean here because the dirt is coming off me. So I'm adding a little bit more baby shampoo at this time. And this brush, the reason why I picked it first is because it's one of the hardest brushes that I've ever had to clean because it has that indention right there where you put the makeup down in there and I don't even use that feature on it. But anyway, it just, it's really a hard to clean brush. And then in a little while, what I will do is go ahead and redo my water. So halfway through, I'll make new fresh water. Can I have some cold ice water? Now after this, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in some hot water. I mean some cold water, just to go ahead and rinse it through real good. But as you guys can see, that is such an improvement. Cause I mean, it was filthy. So this is now, it's clean. So on to the next. Guys, that clean brush is now going to go in just some nice cool water. And then I'll give it like a little rinse over. See, I'm just kind of rubbing off any excess anything. And then we're good. Then we'll just move on one by one by one by one by one. Takes a, a long time takes a very long time but anyway as you guys can see that water is not um, you know not filthy so you know that your your efforts are not for no reason so then I'm going to show you guys here when I wipe that off really good and wipe down in there that that is gonna come out you know clean because you have done what you can. Now what I like to do is I actually like to shake my brushes because I don't want any excess moisture left in them because it uh, can mess up the integrity of the brush and the way that it is set up and such, okay? So anyway, we got one down, hundreds to go.
So now I have changed my water at least uh, twice to get me through those foundation brushes. And so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on to the fluffy face brushes. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so as you can see, I still have, you know, like some work to do. See over here and such. So this is still dirty, this pile here. And then of course, another small pile. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys where we're at so far with the cleaning process. I have done, and this is not the uh, easy way out uh, as far as cleaning your brushes. This is the way that you're gonna go when you have to sanitize, and especially if you're gonna be using these on your client's face and your own. So anyway, this is where we're at. We have uh, most of the large brushes done, or if not all. And so anyway, I wanted to kind of show you guys what next needs to happen. So you see how that is like, it's still moist. As you guys can probably see, it's, it is wet still, right? So you want to grab it, you want to pinch it, and then you want to squeeze. You see that water coming off on my hand? And then you want to hold it low. You want to give it a shake all over your camera. You want to shake it, and then you want to squeeze, turn, flatten. Turn, flatten. And then you just continue. Like I said, it's a lot of work. But anyway, and then flatten it out. Shake, shake it. Yep. Flatten. Because you want them to maintain, you know, the shape that they're supposed to be in. And from there, squeeze that. See all that moisture? Try squeezing that out. Shake, shake out any excess that is up in this part of it where the bristles are connected and this is uh, on the wood. And then just lay them, lay them flat back. I'm trying to move this out of your way so you guys can see. Okay, so basically I'm laying them flat back here if you guys can see that. So I'll lay them flat and then once I'm done with the cleaning process, I'll get a uh, a, a old towel and just lay it flat and let them dry like that all night, okay?